Hey folks, it's Ray at DCRamRecord.com here, and today I've got a quick tip for you if you use Zwift on Apple TV. For me, Apple TV is like my main Zwifting platform. It just works. I don't have to think about it, I don't have to deal with like computers, it just, it just works every time. The one downside though is the dumpster fire of an Apple remote. And that's especially even more compounded when you're on the bike and you're trying to like hold this thing all sweaty and it slides out and then it hits your drivetrain and it explodes. Like it's not really good. So about a year ago, while trying to find a better Apple TV remote, which I didn't really find, there are some options out there, but they weren't really widely available a year ago. So I ended up finding something that will kind of solve this problem, which is a case. And not just any case, a case that has a strap on it. Not a strap on, just, just a strap on the case, a lanyard to use technical terms. And it's the Alago, Alago, uh, Elago. It's this, this case right here. And it costs eight bucks or eight euros, depending on where you are in the world on Amazon. I've linked it all down below. Uh, and in particular, the R1 case, and I'll explain why in just a second. Oh, and this video is definitely not sponsored. They have no idea who I am, though I'm probably like on some watch list for buying too many of their Apple TV remotes. Uh, and I figured I'd do a quick unboxing for you, so move this out of the way. Here is a case. You can see that it comes in different colors. In my case, I got red uh, for the next set of ones at home. Crack it open, crack it open. There we go. Uh, inside, we've got the silicone case and um, the lander and some plastic. On the bottom, there is a small hole for charging, so you can plug it in. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this now and we'll simply stick it in the black one that I have so I don't mix up which remote is which. I've got two TVs over there at the trainer station, so I just use different colors on them. Uh, but here you can see the inside of the remote and how it's gonna slide on in. We'll take this though right there, slide it in, and we're done. That's, that's the install and configuration. You still have access to the uh, lightning charging port on the bottom there. There are like three notable things about this. Uh, number one, it's got sweat on the side right there, so I've clearly used it. Uh, but two, it's got this groove on it, so when you're holding it like this in your hand, it doesn't slide out as easily, especially when you're trying to ride at the same time. And then on top, you have this little hole there, so it can do IR or infrared blasting to your TV to change your volume. But the real magic is on the bottom. No, not that port, but the strap that you see right there. Uh, now, you could, of course, strap this on your arm and use it that way, it'd be super awkward. But for me, I put it on my bike handlebars. Uh, now, most of the time I leave it on the desk just because I, the desk is close, but some bikes I use, some smart bikes I use in particular, uh, that's not possible. And so this allows me to put it on my handlebars, just hang it there and it's always accessible. Uh, and it also makes it a little more waterproof as well for the remote because of the case. And then there's a final like trick that it's got. It's got a magnet in it. So check this out. If you look inside, you'll see right there that little shiny silvery bit. That's the magnet. So I can take this and there we go. I don't know why you need to do that, to be honest, but you know what? It's cool and, and I like cool. Now the reason why I like the R1 as opposed to the R2 remote is the R1 has this groove on it versus the R2 is just a flat surface. And for riding in particular, having that groove is actually really handy. Also, it does come in a bunch of different colors. If colors are your thing, the black one tends to be the cheapest one, but as you can see about the red ones as well. Now, this won't solve every Zwift Apple TV problem. For example, it's not gonna solve the dumpster fire situation at the end of your ride when you try to select the screenshots. That's still gonna be pretty much miserable. But it does solve like the general usability side of things. I haven't dropped this remote once in the last year, which is saying something. So there you go. I don't really have much more to say about it. It just works. Like it just works really, really well. But one thing I can say is if you found this video interesting or useful, simply whack that like button at the bottom there or hit subscribe for more sports technology goodness. And if you want yourself a new trainer and chill mug, you can go ahead and pick that up in the links down below there. It should be below the video or something like that. You'll be able to just click around. It's it's worth a click. With that, have a good one. Woo! The sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over.